Uh, hi, Danica. I'm Aaron Burns with uh, National Speed Sport News right here. Um, you've qualified in the top ten in three of your last six knockout qualifying runs. So I'm curious if you'd kind of give your thoughts on if you feel like knockout qualifying is something that is a little bit more suited to your strengths. And even though it's not going to be happening for today, I mean, do you think that the momentum from that can help you moving forward in qualifying? It's definitely better. I mean, that's obviously something that I needed to, needed to work on. But you still have to have a good car. And, you know, the first top ten was at um, – Martinsville, and uh, we saw how that all ended, and I was absolutely terrible that day. So uh, it uh, it's not everything, but it definitely helps. And I would actually venture to say that my when knockout qualifying happens and, and we all get done with our first run, there's a heck of a lot more times that I've been in the top 15. Um, most of the time when I finally get, get things going and knockout qualifying and then you know, like last weekend, everybody starts to go out again and goes faster. So, um, I don't know. Like I said at the beginning of the year, I think it all it all evens out in the end. There are times where you find speed and you make something happen and you get in, and there are times that, you know, you get in on a good time and then you go out and, you know, you go from being 11th overall after the first round and you go out and you're 24th. And you're like, that sucked. So, it's uh, if it's more interesting for the fans, then that's the most important thing for our sport because we're fan driven so much um and uh, we have to keep them entertained for sure keep them watching and interested um and at the end of the day it's just racing and it's just driving and driving as fast as you can it's just more of it